Hi guys, it's Brave Voice here and welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to implement table view, which when you click on the cell, it will be pushed to another view controller, which also contain a table view. So say for example here, uh, we have a list of continents and when you click on uh, the continents, it will be pushed to another view controller, just playing um, the countries that belong to this continent in the table view. So first of all, I would like to thank uh, Ivan Pena for suggesting this video. Well, now let's start. Xcode, uh, new project, single view application. I'm just going to name it table view to table view. Next, create. First, let's go to Mendo storyboard and then just search for table view. Let's drag it in. Then let's just add constraint here. Next, let's set the data source and the delegate. So just control and drag table view to view controller. Click on data source and do it again for delegate. And now we're going to add the prototype cells here, just one. And you can just drag table view cell in. Change the style from custom to basic. So now we have the title to be set. And also we need to set the identifier. I'm just going to call it continent cell. Next, let's embed our view controller with navigation controller. So go to editor, embed it in navigation controller. I'm going to double click on the title here to set the title to continent. Next, the last thing we're going to deal with the main storyboard here is just to make the connection. So open the assistant editor, control and drag table view into view controller, create an outlet connection and I'm just going to name it table view. Close the extend editor, go to view controller here. And the first thing we need is the continent data. So I'm just going to copy the list of continent data here. For this continent data, you can just copy uh, from the description below and paste it right here. And next, we are going to implement the UI table view data source and delegate here. And next, we are going to implement the functions that will conform to those two protocols. So the first one is numbers of rows in section, which I'm just going to return back the size of our continent data here. This is going to be the number of cells. And next function is for the cell. So cell for row at. First, we are going to create a cell that we're going to be dequeued from our table view. So table view dot dequeue reusable cell with identifier uh, is the, the same as that we set it before. So it's continent cell. And we're going to pass in this index path. And now we can set our cells title. So cell dot text label dot text equal to uh, continent data at this index path dot row. And that's it. We're going to return back the cell. And actually, I'm just going to run this for you guys to get the picture. And that's it. We're done with the first page. So now let's go back to implement the second page that it will be pushed to. So let's go back to Xcode and I'm just going to right click at this folder, a uh, new group. I'm just going to name it country view controller. Right click on the folder, a uh, new file, Cocoa Touch class, UI table view cell. And I'm just going to call it country cell. Also create XIB file. Next, create. First, let's go to the XIB file here. It's the easiest thing you can do. Just change the size from custom to basic and set the identifier as we did before. This time it's going to be country cell. And that's it. We prepared our cell for the country view controller here. And next thing that we need is the actual view controller. So Cocoa Touch class and uh, UI view controller. Yeah. I'm just going to name it country view controller. Also create XIB file. Next, create. Like we did before, let's just go first to 
XIB file and just drag table view in. The table view here in XIB file is quite different than in the storyboard, but don't worry, I'm just gonna handle it right there. Next, we just need to make the outlet connection. So click on it, extend editor, and just control and drag table view. I'm just gonna call it table view connect. Uh, close the extend editor here. Oh, and don't forget to add the constraints. So click on the table view and then just reset to suggest as constraints. And that's it, we're done with the all of the representation. I'm just gonna go back to country VC here. And next, what we need is the data for all of the countries that belong to each of the continent. So I'm just going to place it right here. And next, we also need a continent index. So I'm just going to call it continent index just to uh, specify where the continent we are pushed from. And that's it. That's all of the attributes that we need. Next, just implement our class here to UI table view data source and uh, UI table view delegate. The procedure is just like in the storyboard, but we can't do it because uh, we actually do it with the XIB. So we are going to set the delegate and data source manually. So I'm just going to say self dot table view dot data source equal to self and self dot table view dot delegate equal to self. The next procedure is to uh, add the prototype cell so in the storyboard we can just you know just do it with the one click but in in the xib file we need to manually set it so i'm just going to say let nib ui nib here so it's the nib name the name of the class of the cell so this is a country cell exactly here okay country cell and uh, bundle be now and now we are going to register the cell so table view dot register nib here with this identifier so it's a country cell the identifier here will have to match with this identifier right here all right let's go back to view controller and that's it we have registered our cell into our view controller what we need next is the function to actually set the continent index that it will be pushed from the continent page. So I'm just going to create a custom function. So I'm just going to call it custom initialization. So I'm just going to call it continent index here, which is an integer and also with the title, which is string. So self dot continent just going to copy this one continent index equal to this continent index and self dot title equal to title this attributes here is the title for the navigation controller bar so so you'll see right away when this page is displayed all right next it's just two functions that we did before with the table so the first one is number of rows in section of course we're going to return the size of each continent's country so country data here the first dimension is going to depend on uh, the continent index here and say count and next and the last function is just the cell for row at here just like we did before so we're gonna say let cell equal to table view dot dq from identifier here and the identifier have to be matched with the one we registered before so it's country cell right here this index path and we just need to cast it as our country cell and next let's just set the title so cell dot text label dot text will be equal to uh, we wrote it right here so perfect here with the last index of uh, index path at Row. and we are going to return back the cell so actually we need to unwrap this one okay perfect and that's it we're done with the preparation for the second page that is going to be pushed so 
Let's go back to view controller and add just one more function for uh, when the cell is selected. So select, I think it's uh, there, yeah, this one, did select row at, and uh, we're just gonna create this one, country VZ. Yeah, so let country VZ equal to our country VZ here. And um, we're just gonna set here, country VZ dot custom in it. The continent index will be the current row of the first page. So index path dot row. And the title will also be from continent data here at the current row. At this point, we have created the valid country view controller. So next we are just going to push it. So self dot navigation controller here dot push view controller. We're just going to pass in our country view controller here with animation to and after the cell is selected, we have to deselect it as well. So table view dot deselect. I'm just gonna pass in this index path with animation. And that's pretty much it, I believe. Let's just run it. And here we go, I'm just gonna try it out here. Perfectly working. And you can even add more to push to another view controller which contain the table view, yeah? And I believe that's it. Thanks for watching to the end of the video guys. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like or subscribe. And if you have any question or any suggestion, you can just leave them down in the comment section below. And everybody, let's just keep coding and we'll see you guys in the next one.